How do we improve this man? I know. What if we gave him a gun? What's this guy look like? <laughs> hmm. My perspectometer seems rather fond of you. Let's see, shall we? Odd garb. Striking presence. Would I be right in assuming that you are the outsider who saved, helped to save Ishgard? Ah, I thought as much. My perspectometer seldom lies. And let me just say, you have made the right choice in visiting our humble workshop. <laughs> Welcome to Sky Steel Manufactory, where miracles are born from aether, metal, and imagination. From cannons to ballistas, we develop and manufacture a range of weapons designed for, for slaying dragon invaders. But we are also accepting students who wish to take up a firearm and learn the techniques of the machinist. What say you? Are you interested in joining us and exploring the machinist discipline? Yeah. You are? Well, of course you are, otherwise my prospectometer would not have registered your obvious interest. Ah. In my excitement, I've neglected to introduce myself. The name's... Stephanivian. Stephanivian D. Helenart, and you are? It me. Zev, is it? Well, Zev, allow me to welcome you once more to the Sky Steel Manufactory. As I mentioned before, it is our charge to develop and manufacture weapons designed for slaying dragon invaders. Uh, but pray forget about those tired old inventions. The future lies in machinistry, a technology that weds the genius of Master Garland's Magitech with traditional aetherology. Every single one of my latest creations employs the principles of this unique discipline. And in the steady hands of trained machinists, my new inventions are going to alter the very face of warfare. Though I would dearly love to expand upon my revolutionary theories, we should begin by familiarizing you with the tools of the trade, so to speak. Have you time now for a brief lesson? I'm gonna miss Dancer a bit, but I did want to I did want to try to train uh, classes every expansion. Usually in the transition from the main story to the patches, which I missed. Whoops. There'll even be more lag time as far as me getting the new thumbnail made for the new class, inevitably. Splendid. Now, the first thing you must learn is the proper technique for handling a fire... Hmm. Where in the hell is our master of marksmanship? I swear the man is never about when I need him most. How dreadfully embarrassing. Here I've mercilessly picked your interest, and now I must ask you to call again at a later, a later convenience. Mayhap, the next time you visit, our, our instructor will deign to put in an appearance. Then we can outfit you with the equipment necessary to learn basic marksmanship. And I might explain to you the particulars of the machinist profession. I, I, I'm afraid he's gone for good this time, my lordship. I left a letter of resignation for, on, our bench, on our book bench and all. Confound the man. We cannot afford to lose such a pivotal, a pivotal employee at this crucial juncture in our growth. Joy, prepare my accoutrements. I shall drag that scoundrel back to the by the lapels if need be. But, but, my lordship, we ain't even sure of where to start looking. To make a salient, you make a salient point, my dear. Hmm. My perspective meter points to the lands of Lanasha. Ah, yeah. I should have realized he would have returned to his homeland. L Lanasha, my, my lordship. Are you sure you want to go there? I hear it's a nasty place where folks will clout you across the face as soon as look at you. I well, I must admit a little familiarity with... I must admit too little familiarity with its environs. Hark, Joy. The perspective meter chirps again. You have one personality trait, and it's the toy you made. Of course, our aspiring machinist. We shall have the worldly Zev here act as our guide. For an explorer who has braved the harshest corners of Eorzea, the wilds of Lenosia must be akin to a garden path, is that not so? 
Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Now, now, no false modesty. Whatever knowledge you have of the place must far exceed ours, no matter your protestations. You will, con you will consent to guide us, will you not? Then tis settled. Joy here, in addition to our loyal service to House Helenart, is the finest shot in the manufactory. As a novice machinist, I suggest you mark her technique well during our little jaunt to Lenosia. Speaking of which, we must needs decide upon a somewhat less vague destination. Ah, I seem to recall our absent instructor mentioning companions from a, count a camp overlook. Let that be our first point of call. I have been there before. Data one. Oh, it's still pinned. It, it, that had, that's, that's probably where the little plant fairies are. So this is Camp Overlook. Indeed, its inhabitants do seem to type the type to clout a man in the face in place of how do you do. Shall we make some inquiries after our prematurely retired instructor? Let us in a rendezvous at this spot once we've gathered what intelligence we may. No, I think this is where the kobolds are. Yeah, the kobolds are like over there-ish? Yeah. That's why this place is pinned. I, was, I, I didn't unpin it after finishing the dailies last time around. It's probably about time for me to be doing another way of dailies all over, all over again. I'm trying to do this now. This will be my first high effort class change because I have to actually like level up the character off camera and do a bunch of story quests just to get caught up. Hmm? You mean that big Rogadin bastard? You'll find him pacing the boards in front of the infirmary. Some of the lads seem to know the bloke, but no bugger seems eager to say ow. <clears throat> a bloke later Ishgard. I there was a stranger come about, asking after one of our lads. Told him the sorry sod he was looking for was in the cabin by the lift, resting up with an, from an axe wound. Ooh, sounds... This game is really- this quest is very heavy on the phonetic dialogue. Phonetically spelled dialogue. I have seen him, all right. Got himself a cold reception, too. He can't come apologizing for a deed a decade old and just expect to be forgiven. How fared your interrogations? Twould see my man came here to visit an old acquaintance. In the vicinity of the winch, you say? Let us investigate this infirmary, then. Bye. Koopo? Were the conditions of your employment not satisfactory? Return with us to the manufacturer and we can discuss more favorable terms. I understand the Discardians presently, presently accord machine. It's rather less than the respect they deserve, but I promise you, our worth shall shine through in due time. People will clamor to learn our profession. You can't abandon us now, <laughs> Rostenstall. Think of the future. These are some difficult names. Oh. Leave me be. One more step and I'll blow your yapping jaw off. Joy, if you please. What? Why would her appearance also change? 
What? What? You shite eating bastard. Next time I'll aim for the shaft twixt your thighs. Her getting a cool shot off and then also shooting it out of the sky is neat. Her doing a bunch of weird show off stuff in advance to loudly announce what she's about to do was stupid. It defeats the whole purpose of a quick draw, high precision person in these narratives. Like, what the fuck? Are you not proud? Twas you who taught Joy everything she knows about shooting and spitting colorful profanity besides. Aye, the last learned me lessons well. Well enough to be your new master of marksmanship, I wear, wager. How the fuck do braids work? What? What is this timid mode? She goes, it's so bizarre. Do you think so? Oh, but no, Joy is far too busy with her duties at the manor house. And besides, we have this budding machinist who is simply dying to learn from the great Rolsenthal. I don't know who that is. Buffalo shite. Any scrag who'd know, who's known me would rather I did the dying. Oh, just look at you. The epitome of a roguish swashbuckler. Why ever did you cease brandishing your weapon in that fashion? Because only pirate scum old as... Because only pirate scum old a firearm like this. And I ain't gotta teach the machinist way. And I ain't gonna teach the machinist way to no hopeless sausage finger adventurer or what ye dragged in off the street. Then, you are saying that if our sausage-fingered adventurer shows a glimmer of a hope, you will consent to instruct him. Did you hear that, Zeb? This is your chance to display, display your aptitude for marksmanship. Uh, I don't know how this works, this gun. Here, I took the liberty of packing some extra tools of the trade. Convince our reluctant instructor that you are serious in your intentions. I barely walked in. I don't even know how to fire a gun. What? This is not applicable to any of the other skills I have learned. Not from around these parts, are you? You couldn't tell? Wow, how did you notice that I wasn't from around these parts, being a blue cat man? I've still never met a single Rothgar and we're like 150 episodes in. Fine, Steph Steph <laughs> Stefan Evian. I'll give your whelp one bloody chance. One lesson to see what he's made of. The fate of the sty of sky steel manufacturing, nay, the fa the very future of machinistry, is in your sausage-fingered hands. Take up out your weapon and aim for the stars. Getting rude. Ow, give me a soul gem to swallow. It's like gum, it lives inside you for a hundred years and then you're just stuck as that class forever. Oh, there you go. You don't equip the gem, you equip the gun. Weird. Well, I'm naked now. Congrats. Um. <clears throat> they, this, is the, this, this is the pants they gave me. Okay. We're off to quite the start with this setup. What am I wearing? Wait, they didn't give me all this gear, did they? 
This is just stuff I had on hand. Because those, those are the crafting gloves from the bird people. Yeah, I don't think they give this to me. This is just some stuff I had left over in my inventory. Huh. Well, that's what I look like now. <laughs> For the first time, you're looking good and comfortable with that carbine. Pity that comfort will only last, last right up until you shoot the bleeding thing. Right, here's a few pointers before we start, so we don't put a, so you don't put a round through your damn foot. Aim the barrel at your target, squeeze the trigger, not too bloody hard, mind, and boom goes the firearm. It's your shots what'll decide the kind of damage you can do with any particular weapon. Next, l let's talk about the that contraption at your waist. Now I don't rightly understand it, but boss tells me it draws on the aether in your in your body and turns into the spark what feeds some new devices he's working on. Oh, and pray do not forget to carry your your soul of the machinist. I based the design on, on the more traditional soul crystals, and it will act as a focal point for the energy conversions performed by the Ethero, Ethero Transformer. Ah, that would be the contraption Rosenthal mentioned. Rost... Rostenthal... shit. Uh... You have level 30 skills. Alright, that's all you're getting from me for now. Follow me and we'll see how you fare in the field. Or you can throw your carbon in the bushes and flee like a musket-whipped cur. Them's your choices. Do I start with skills that make sense equipped? Where's my social bar? Ah, uh, I didn't keep my social bar from other class. I didn't set. I didn't set something up to be shared. I guess. These are my starting buttons. I don't know if they'll even make sense. It's so hard to keep make sense of these classes when you first get them. I just have to read about them from somewhere else. <laughs> Delivers an attack with a potency of 100. Combo action, slug shot, or heated slug shot. Peloton, we know, head graze is an interrupt. Goss round, delivers the attack with the potency 120, two charges. 140. Twelve enemies in a cone, spread shot. Foot graze. Reassemble, guarantees the next weapon skill a critical hit. Delivers an attack with a potency of 240. The weapon skill does not uh, share a recast timer with any other action, so you can do it between them. Leg graze. Netflix target with heavy, so it slows people, I think. 140. Split shot. Increases heat gauge by 5. I have a heat gauge, apparently. Slug shot. Split shot or heat is split, split shot. Combo of one, 100. So clean shot combos into slug shot combos into spread shot split shot that one I move them now it won't let me drag them it's very annoying Are all the current ones equipped at least? So now I can do clean, slug, split. Let's put Goss around here. Leg Gray is here. I feel like I should try to just make it so I can hold the same button to press all my basic attacks. So here we have two of the class trait ones, the roll ones. Then here's spread shot for an AoE, and this is a thing that sets up a big hit. Otherwise I can just press these three in a combo. And that'll be a starting point until it makes more sense.
I still have sprint on that bar, so that bar is shaved, shared. Uh. Oh, he's over here. Uh. My entire- all of my controls are so fucked that I need to pause the game to find my mount button and so on. I how to get off. I guess I can just talk to this guy. There we go. Ha! Willing to take my test then, eh? The rule is simple. Make your way towards the- the Aramid's oval and shoot what- what you're told to shoot. Okay. I shall wait- uh, I shall await you at the end of your trial, Zef. I have every confidence that you shall impress our instructor with your enthusiasm and potential. I'm being attacked in a conversation! Gun! 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 You can't catch me. Yeah. Oh, am I am I comboing them in the wrong order? I think I might have the text definition of how combos work backwards. They might they might flow right to it might go split slug clean. Huh. Aggro on me in the middle of dialogue. How fucking dare you! Right, we're gonna have a good old fashioned hunt. Joy will be giving you instructions while I eyeball your marksmanship. Golems will be your first target. Focus on getting a feel for range and rhythm. Try and avoid them corals. You don't want to waste your ammunition. Defeat basalt golems. Where? Oh, hit down here. Oh, it is right to left. So I had I was interpreting the combo information in the reverse order. So I have a basic combo set up at least, even if I don't know exactly what's optimum for this class yet. I don't know how he's shooting that much out of like a musket looking thing, but look at him go. The heavy, sh the heavy shoulder pauldrons and booty shorts is quite the combo. I did not plan this. I was like, this is a weird starting set for them to give me. I don't think they gave me a set. That's a setup. <laughs> All right, I got new poses too. But you, I think there was another one too. But this is just like the the military poses. Let's see. Oh, training incendiary is defeated. Uh, 
Wait. Next up, we're heading for bombs. Okay. Where? Whence? We are sex but bomb. One, two, three. Where are they? Nope. Are they gone now? Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I might have to Google this quest. Oh, there they are. Can I follow you guys? You're following me, aren't you? I accidentally made the fucking chat go away, so I need to Google how to make that come back too. <laughs> Things are going well. Uh, Master of Marksmanship Bombs. Where are the bomb enemies, says the person. Correct. Where are the bomb enemies? Right outside Copper Bell Mines? I think this might be an unrelated thing. Uh, oh, oh there's, there's, an, there's an objective here now. I think that's separate though. No, this is the boundary of the fight. Fuck. Uh, can I mount up? No. That's annoying. Oh, there they are. Okay. The reason I'm- part of the reason why I'm trying to look it up is just the fact that, like, I- I don't want to pick a random direction and just be like, Alright, well, time to walk through this area and aggro every enemy and fight them all, only to find that I went the wrong way. It's like- that's like five minutes lost. Uh, wow, why do you aggro faster than the bomb? Oh, here it comes. That attack's probably pointless, actually. Because it shares a cooldown with everything else. So peppering it in doesn't make much sense if I don't have an AoE to do. Feels like using the auto crit on my final hit makes sense in the combo. That's probably the strong one. Intuitively. Not not bad, lad. Not bad at all. Let's see. I can't read it because the check on the resin. Ain't he done enough for a beginner? Not by a long shot. I want to see his skins in a pair from a pair of me Mia says. You you want him to fail. I ain't letting you cheat his lordship. If you're gonna bend the rules, then so will I. Do what you gotta do, lass. I'll be waiting for those skins at the at the oval.
Alright. She's in aggro mode. Am I following her? Okay. I'll look up how to bring the chat log back when I'm done with this episode or something. Oh, there's a Mesa. Oh. And there's a coral. They're so fucking big. Not the porcupine bears. They're the scariest ones of them all. So, dogs saw meocids and tigers. Okay. That was probably in the, the text that I missed. There's the tigers. See how docile they are once I shoot them a few times. Wow, they do not do group pulls the way that I'm used to. You, you could just shoot one of them out of a bunch and the other ones won't even come after you. Strange. Nope, didn't even see him. Whoops. My shots have like a travel time? It feels like the attack the damage happens way after I shoot. I have to ask you to stop. Now we're headed back to the Ermit's Oval to deal with that ick head. That joke doesn't work. But it's out there anyway! Right, that's my sprint. Oh, that's my sprint. Do I need to wait for you to get here, or did I go the wrong way? Where's Hermit's Hovel? Not gonna lie, this quest this quest kind of has an infuriating lack of uh, of quest objective. I have to keep going north. The Hermit's Hovel was up there. Shit. Well, now enemies might have respawned. Oh, I do have a sprint on this bar.
Oh, right, because we met at Camp Overlook, not Hermit's Hovel. That's not, that's not the name of the previous area. I'm souring on the, uh... The big flowing clothes look. There we go. That's better. Aside from specific kinds of like plate armor and stuff like that, like making Rothgar look even bulkier actually usually looks weird. So big flowing clothes doesn't always work. They bring them skins then. Yeah, look. Hmm. <laughs> even with young joy, Zelf, you did well, lad. Huzzah! You will return to the, ma the fat manufactory with us then. I said he did well, not that he was done. He still got one last target to take down. Me. Zav's got talent, but even he can't win against Rostens. Rostens. The man truly is being bothersome. Zav, would you be so kind as to give the instructor a good drubbing? Why would I need? Why would I need instruction of the guy if I can just defeat him myself already with no instruction? I shouldn't even know how to use this gun. Ow! Dick? Are you using a melee weapon? Haha, ha, you can't chase me. Oop, he's chasing me. You'll never make it. He made it. Well, there you are, Instructor. Zev has proven his potential beyond the shadow of a doubt. You are a man of your word, are you not? I, I'll come back to your, back to your bloody workshop. But do you know why I left in the first place? To once more breathe the salty air of your beloved homeland? Ha! I ain't got no love for Lenasha. In fact, I'd be happy if I never saw the place again. Then why would you inconvenience us by fleeing to a locale you so clearly despise? For a sack of... For a sack of gout the size of my bloody head. I don't know who he was working for, but some bloke came out around offering me money in to ship anchor. So I did. Someone paid you to abandon the manufactory? Who would do such a thing? Like I said, I ain't I've never seen the Sada for. But if I if I show me face at the workshop, his boss is gonna want the gelt back, I reckon. Pity I already spent it all on Grog. Oh, no, no, no. You'll not wiggle m through my grasp that easily. I shall pay this debt, and in return, you will instruct every would-be machinist who walks through our door. Sup? I am Dapper Cat. Well, you've got one bugger with teaching, at least. I guess it's back to the frigid arms of Lady Ishgard for me. Gonna be a long walk. Was that wise, my lordship? The Helenot coffers ain't exactly fit to person. Oh, yes, you're quite right. We are rather short of coin, but I'm certain a thorough inspection of the ledgers will turn up a spare gill or two. You can't put a price on good people, eh, my lordship? That you cannot, my dear. Rosenthal may be a touch standoffish at times, but none can dispute his eye for marksmanship. 
Touch talk aside, I sense the business he had in these parts was not concluded to his satisfaction. Would that the man would confide in me his troubles. I suppose I shall have to content myself with the thought of his return. But you, Zev, you have exceeded my very my every expectation. Pray join me back at the manufactory that I might thank you in a manner that befits your accomplishments. It's weird being level 30 again. Ah, the savior of Sky Steel <laughs> Sky Steel Manufactory. I had hoped to furnish you with a suitable reward, but a glance at the ledger's count, uh, counsels me to wary some prudence. Thus, instead of presenting you with a fire of the finest materials and latest design, I must humbly ask that you make do with the dated model I gave you at Camp Overlook. Ah, and I must also pass on a message to you from Rosenthal. He asks that you take the skills he taught you thus far and master them in the furnace of battle. Well, something to that effect. I assume he means to offer you further instruction once you display a sufficient level of competence. And such a day can hardly be distant for one of your talents, eh, Zeph? Da da da! Hypercharge. Then I have to be level 35. So that's gonna be it for now. Heat gate. Oh, I brought it back somehow. Select button, apparently. I was trying to open this. Performing certain weapon skills will increase the heat gauge, and once it's high enough, the, the action hypercharge will become available. Using hypercharge overheats your weapon and allows the use of heat blast, required level 35, and auto crossbow, required level 52. Does it do something on its own? Because I can't actually get those abilities yet. Releases the energy buildup of your firearm, causing it to become overheated, increasing the potency of next single target weapon skills by 20. Okay. For, for 8 seconds. So it uses up like half my meter, and then it makes me stronger for a bit. Okay. That makes sense. Time to do... Roulettes, I guess? And also reorganize my bars? And whatnot? Alright. My journey begins. Also, crucially, I can have a glamour, at the very least. I'm no longer just a weird mishmash of random clothes. I still need to fix my social bar. It's just kind of overflowing old icons that make their way in. Anyway, I'm now level 50, so I'm, I'm behind by a bit on these story missions. Because I specifically need to do them on camera for the video. And I don't always feel like doing that when I log in to do a, a daily dungeon or something. I don't remember anyone's voices. That's fine. It's only distracting for you, the person who's actually seeing this as one episode. Greetings, Zev. Have you become practiced at defeating your foes from a distance? With the range of your weapons, even Skyborn dragons will learn to respect the threat posed by a trained machinist. Despite the proven efficacy of our cannons and ballistas, however, many knights of Ishgard continue to eschew firearms in favor of the spear and the sword. Ah, the creaking chains of tradition. Hark, the very creaking I spoke of draws near. Ugh, the stifling heat and sulfur stench. I can scarcely breathe. And worse, I can scarcely bear the sight of mine own son garbed in such filthy garments. Why must you persist in this infatuation with smithing of old things? Tis called machinistry, father. And you need not come, all the, uh, come at all if the air of the workshop so offends you. Would that I could shed this ornery duty, but as manufactory chief, I must needs supervise its operations. Supervise? You barely visit a, but once a, a, a moon, and regulate every management task f uh, to Fromlo. Back in this expansion where I can't pronounce anyone's names. And what of it? Smithing is a commoner's profession. Even as overseer is the role of a noble. But one of the four founders 
As one of the four founders of Eshgard, House Helenart enjoys a privileged position. But misfortune has waged a constant war of, att of attrition on our forces, and our claim to the position grows weak. Thus must we attend to our duties with uncommon zeal, even duties as common as this one. But we shall not suffer this mean predicament forever. No, my son, you will reclaim the honor of our family with spear in hand. You must needs become a knight of skill, non-parallel, non like non I assume, and bear our flag onto the field of battle. Father, the face of war changes with each passing day. Soon you will come soon will come a time when machinists shall form the bulk of our armies. Should you cling to these stagnant ideas of yours, you'll be swept over by the the wave that carries us forward. I tire of your fan your flights of fancy. <laughs> Stephen Avian. Without success to back them, your arguments ring as empty as my treasure room. The Holy See has announced attorney. You will best serve your house by returning to the practice field and thence claiming victory in the melee. I regret that you are subject to our squabbles, but father's duty, father's attitude is sadly representative of the greater part of Ishgard's populace. Their heads may as well be made from stone of the city walls. I have, however, designed a weapon of such brilliance that the lights of its potential will penetrate even the densest mind. Rosenthal and Joy will accompany me to Raincatcher Gully to gather materials for the prototype. Why don't you join us? Practicing your marksmanship in Ishgard will only invite suspicion and ridicule. But this is the perfect opportunity to receive further tutelage from Rosenthal. That you might also train under the warm rays of, Lanashka, the na, bleh, of Lanasha's sun is simply a fortuitous boon. But a bum bum bum, it's loud in here. That is an entirely gold leather suit. It's quite the setup he's got. I can't, I can't get far enough away, camera wise, to look at them. That's a setup, though. All decked out in leather. Uh, you abandon. There we go. Go away. I don't have the Aetherite for Summerford Farms. I guess it's the wrong map anyway. Yeah. I can always grab the mission again if I want to, want to, but it keeps like, ah, oh, fuck. I gotta fix my bars. But I think I need to switch back to my other class to do that. I mean, I could just add it to this bar, but I, I mean, like, I, if I want to make it so that that, I think I can make it so that my social bar stays the same. It's still auto switching to the, the to this other bar whenever I'm not in combat, but it doesn't have any of my buttons on it. And one of those buttons is my mount-up button, because it comes up so often. But I should really add that to, for now, at least. Right now, this bar is just kind of auto-filling with random stuff. I've also been doing a... Uh, I've been doing a daily roulette sometimes, but then after that I just go solo with my NPCs that I've leveled up from the Immortal Flames. And, uh... It seems faster just because you don't have to wait 10 minutes to do matchmaking with as DPS. But in particular, I got to that one where you f there's like an evil eye or whatever. And uh, I finally had to like actually map their commands to my bar because the moment you like press B or something, the action menu that comes up on your screen just disappears forever. And you're like, what? Where'd it go? Uh, and there's like various times where you actually do need to command them to be aggressive or passive just so you can reposition them manually because there's like there's like basic mechanics that you literally can't beat the dungeons without doing sometimes and the AI is not designed to actually play the dungeons that they play through. It's, it's awkward. Got yourself dragged out here as well, did you? 
The boss said you needed some Magitek part, and I just had to open up my big gob about this Garlean wreck in the gully. It's been resting here for nigh on five years now, though, so any useful bits and bobs are likely stripped out long ago. Being seen, but seen as we trekked all this bloody way, might as well see how far we get, how far you've come when you're shooting. Go say hello to the other two and keep them safe while they concentrate on their scrounging. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Bo -bo -bo. Big nightmare with too many teeth, just right here. Is he gonna aggro? Gotta talk to you first. Ah, you came. Though I'm afraid the rewards have yet to meet the risks of this monster infested crash site. Speaking of monsters. Ah! What am I gonna do? Oh, they are not leveled. This is, this is still... <laughs> I'm not level locked. So these guys basically can't hurt me. I don't necessarily know how to play my character, but the buttons are there. Uh, speak with joy and defeat the enemies that appear. It's very on point. Practicing your marksmanship, are you? Maybe I'll have half a moment of peace to look at this part while you have watch me back. Oh, not again. Take care of that, would you, Zev? But I have my buttons set up, so I just press these three bottom, bottom right buttons from left to right in a combo, and it lights up the next one. The top one I have two charges of on a cooldown, so I just press that whenever. There might be a smart time to press them, but I'm kind of just pressing them. But I have a bunch of buttons that are for, like, a drone or a turret, and I can't use them yet, so... Hopefully this, or the next quest, will unlock the resource that it requires, because they refer to an entire other meter that I don't have. You've been working on those shots, have you, lad? I say you're good and ready to... Bloody elves, that's a big one. You're up, Zev. Hello. Nope. Act, act, auto crit. Boom. The... The... The one that has a head with circles around it is an automatic crit I can activate. So if I do that before my finisher, I get a critical finisher, but other times I do a critical on my AoE. Because there's a lot of AoE and... There's a lot of call for AoE in, uh... Dungeons. But I pretty much just spam the same button over and over again, so I don't know if that's actually damage efficient. It doesn't feel good to do. Uh, nice form, lad. Tightly grouped shots. Now what was it? Was it just my eyes playing tricks, or did somewhat other than guts drop out of that thing's belly? It ate an important part in it. Hmm, looks like a bit of machinery. The boss had a boss of better, the boss had to have a better idea than me. I've got this button. Oh wait, I can't press it because you have to. Even though it's an AOE, you have to have a target, which is weird. Okay, I'll go around. Wow, this thing's rife with walls. Confound it. All this way and not to show off for it. Except for your, your obvious improvements in marksmanship, of course. Hmm? What's that you have there? And this spilled out along with the creature's innards, you say? Extraordinary. By the fury... Do you know what this is? You found the very component I was searching for. That's wonderful, my lordship. Our fortunes took a turn for the better the moment you walked through the, uh, the workshop doors, Zev. Like some kind of protagonist. By well, a rare magitech part and a beast's belly ain't fortune, that's bloody sorcery. Or so I'd think if I didn't see you shoot the damn thing with my own two eyes. Nice work there, by the way, Zev. I can hardly- I can already hear the whirring of my invention coming to life. Come, we must return to the manufactory at once. Bum, 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 bum. I wear glasses, which seems not ideal for a marksman. <laughs> no, don't aggro on me. I don't care about your fate. I don't care about your fate! I'm back. It truly was a stroke of, of luck, Zev. 
With that wretched rare gyroscope in hand, twill only be a matter of time until I have a working prototype. Instead of twiddling your thumbs until its completion, however, you shall have your hands full mastering a new skill. Rosenthal bade me pass on to you the particulars of Heat Blast. Train hard, my friend. Where do I put all these buttons on my bars? By the way, I hate that if you double tap the left or right trigger to open up your crossbars, you can't put buttons on them. You can't put skills on them. You have to manually switch to that bar and, it, and, and remember which one it is. It's just, I'm, like, I'm like, it's right here. Just let me put it on. I'm like, I'm holding down the button. Just let me put it on it. And it'll just like, looks, if you drag a skill to it, it'll just disappear. I'm like, no, it's right there. But just to make things even more annoying, my social bar is not shared between classes, but this bar is shared between classes. So it currently is covered in a bunch of it's currently covered in a bunch of buttons that uh, are for Dancer. I need to get in the menus and fix shit. I don't really know how, honestly. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, I don't really know... It's just, it's just, ah. Just gonna, gotta get in the weeds of it. Cause yeah, I uh... It's completely backwards. The social bar... The, the, out, the out of combat bar is the one I want to be the same for every class, and the one that you press triggers for should all definitely change for every class because it's where I put more. It's where I'll put more buttons, obviously, for combat, not for whatever the fuck. Ah, Zev, splendid! You arrived at the very moment I completed my newest machinist marvel. Well, within the very, within the very hour at least. It is unfortunate that many Ish guardians cannot appreciate the practicality of my work. People such as my father, for instance. Speaking of which, probably. Hi, I heard, did somebody say prick? Uh, is there not that could be done for this dreadful odor? Stephen Evie and my son, the days of shunning your nightly training have come to an end. Never should I have allowed you to set foot inside this workshop. Had I but known that the curiosity you displayed as a boy would develop into this all-consuming distraction. Is that what you came to say, Father? I am well aware of your distaste for... Nay, Stephen Avian, there is more. House Zemal has sou sounded the call to arms, and House Helenot is bound to answer. As you well know, our companies are light on lances. If we are to avoid dishonoring our name, every able soldier, mine own son included, must take up spear and sword and march to battle. I have not the disposition for charging into enemy ranks, father. I did not raise a coward. Consider your next words carefully, boy. As manufacturing chief, I hold the authority to expel anyone from this workshop. On parchment, mayhap, there's only one. Sh there's only one chief we answer to. Aye, I understand that our ranks have grown thin. This is our house in dire need of the support my mach machinists will bring. Challenging the might of dragons with spear and sword is the work of seasoned heroes, warriors possessed of unflagging stamina and robust physique. Equipped with a firearm, however, even the scrawniest commoner can engage those same scaled demons from afar. Think of it, Father. If the masses were trained in the machinist profession, the casualties of Fang and Claw would be considered dimi considerably diminished. Machinist companies would soon form the backbone of our defense, and as the master of the manufactory, the accolades would belong to House Helenart. Train the masses? Foolish boy, no low-born army could ever replace a contingent of disciplined knights. Well, they're a difference of type, so it's complimentary. It is time, my lord. Savara is expected to descend upon our defenses within the hour. Savara? You mean to exchange that great butte with naught but our knights? Would, what would you have me do? The dragon flies straight as an arrow for our very sky own Skyfire locks. Should we let them be destroyed, the price would be steep in both coin and honor. Father, you must allow me to deploy my machinists. Once you have witnessed them in battle, e even you will be unable to, de 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 bleh, unable to deny their effectiveness. Do as you will, Stephanie Vian. 
As matters stand, I would not turn away a lame chocobo if it offered to defend our holdings. Be certain to assemble your forces at the locks ere Savara arrives. I guess this is chronologically supposed to happen before the the apparent peace with the dragons that seems to, I think, was happened, as has been accomplished by the time we finished previous campaign and whatnot. Oh dear. I fear I have allowed my passions to impair my better judgment. Of all my budding machinists, only you have seen true combat. Tis to you, then, that I would entrust the use of my prototype device. This rook, as I have taken to calling it, is an auto turret, a type of machinist weapon that fights on its own. Do you recall Rosenthal's explanation of the arrow trans the Aethero Transformer? That contraption at your waist will convert your body's aether into the lightning aspected energy required to power the turret. You need simply to activate the weapon, and it will supplement your own attacks. Savaro has plagued House Helenart for long years. Should you employ the Rook to good effect, then we may rid ourselves of both a deadly enemy and my father's antiquated notions in one fell swoop. I'm just gonna do your job for you. The Rook auto turret. Ba bum well, Zev, as we uh, we are as ready to re as ready can be, all except for our wayward instructor. Would you be so kind as to locate Rosenthal and inform him of the urgency of our situation? I imagine he is loitering in Foundation somewhere, making his unhurried way to the workshop. Wow! Wow! Heat gauge expanded. The battery gauge accumulates when certain actions are performed and allows the placement of a Rook auto turret, which will attack your target. It also allows the deployment of an automaton queen required at level 80 to fight alongside you. Well, I get a golem. Oop, does that door open on proximity? Oh yeah, I guess it's so, yeah. Performing certain weapon skills will increase the heat gauge once you have an uh, use hypercharge. Use hypercharge overheats the weapon and allows the heat use of heat blast to quite level 35 and auto crossbow at level 52. Right? So many buttons! I'm guessing that was added to here? Nope. Where is heat blast? Do 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 do. They just try to give you a passive damage increase, just in general. What's Hotshot do again? Oh, it's just an attack that increases my battery gauge. So now it finally... So it's basically been almost pointless? Well, it's, it's higher damage than my other attacks, so it's... Oh yeah, it's, it's higher damage than most of my other attacks. So it's just worth blowing on cooldown periodically, but otherwise it's boring? Like, look at it. It doesn't... Just an attack, but I guess it's worth do putting my crit button on because it probably it might do higher damage than all of my other ones. Combo potency two seventy. So okay, so if I combo correctly, clean shot does more damage. But that's about it. Anyway, hypercharge, heat blast, delivers an attack of a potency at two hundred. Additional effect reduces the recast time of both Goss Round and Ricochet by 15 seconds. Can be uh, can only be executed while the firearm is overheated. Can I switch these with each other? I would like to put my heat abilities together if I can. And these would be my turret abilities. Just to keep track of these things. Oh, he, oh there's where Heat Blast is over, over here already. Then I have a Wildfire, which... This came up at some point, but... I, so it covers the target's body in slow burning pitch. Action change to detonator for the duration of the effect. Deals damage when time expires or upon extracting detonator. Potency is increased by 100 for each of your own weapon skills you land prior to the end of the effect. Isn't everything a weapon skill? Okay, I think the idea is that you just activate this and you just land a bunch of attacks and then it does a bunch of damage at the end. Or you can manually trigger it early. Just another, so basically another but it's, it, to a certain extent just kind of another button you can just kind of press, honestly. Uh, I think my new buttons are on here, and now these buttons will finally do stuff. So I have the Rook Auto Turret, 
Deploys a single target, uh, single target battle turret which attacks using volley fire, dealing uh, damage with a potency of 35, which is not very good, but it is just a bon it's like a pet, so it's just bonus attacking. Potency increases at ba as battery gauge exceeds required cost time. Exceeds required cost at time of deployment up to a maximum of of 75. So it, I think it so I can deploy it at 50, right? Just like how this one says 50, but for this is battery. But uh, the higher the meter is, the the stronger the turret gets as a bonus. It only lasts nine seconds, not the longest duration for a pet. Rook Overdrive orders the Rook Auto Turret to use Rook Overload. Potency increases, battery gauge exceeds required cost of time of deployment up to a maximum of 320. The Rook Auto Turret shuts down after execution. If this action is not used manually when the Rook Auto Turret is active, it will be triggered automatically immediately before shutting down. So it always, it's, it's like an explosion. Like, so if I don't, if I don't take it to do manually, it's, it's, it's like Wildfire where it will, it will trigger on its own. But you might as well just have it trigger on its own because then you get the maximum damage out of it before it explodes. But there might be context in which you have to get it done during a specific window because you have like an ability active or an enemy is only vulnerable at certain times, I guess, or you need to combo it in some way. But if you're brain dead dancer mode, dancer DPS mode, then you might just remove that bu button from your bar and just let it always go off on its own. Ah, Zev. Look at this scrag I, c I caught me creep... I caught me creeping. Uh, look at the scrag I caught me creeping about near the, the workshop. Up to no bloody good, I reckon, so I sat him down for a friendly chat. That guy. Huh? A dragon attack, and the boss needs every good a uh, needs every and on deck, does he? I'll be right there, as soon as I'm done bringing some answers from this ugly sod. You know, where there's one rat, there's always a dozen more. Might be the, uh, might be best if you took a quick look around yourself, and deal with any troublemakers before you head back. No need to murder anyone, mind the noise from a goss round ought to scare him off. So, the top one. So... What's the deal with you? He said that I'm the only promising machinist that's ever seen in a battle, but this guy's like a pirate. Is the idea that guns already exist for pirates, but they're like just regular guns and he just happens to be good at shooting, but doesn't know anything about being a machinist? So he just is good at doing a shooting and that's it? Probably. I'm being spied upon by furries. Let's see. Where is the ruffian? There's the little dick. Do 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 do. <laughs> Just one lick of flame ought to do it. <laughs> what in the seven L's? You could have taken off a toe. You're Rosenthal's new pup, ain't ya? If it's trouble you're looking for, then the, look no further than the the backstabbing laments and cur. Ha 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 ha. I need to put sprint buttons on here. Oh, there's one. I need to put Peloton and Sprint on this bar until I fix it. Peloton? Peloton? These words aren't real. You can't trick me. For the safety of Ishgard citizens, the Sky Steel Manufactory must needs be shut down. How dare you dissent in any way? Gun! This will disprove the idea that the guns are bad. How uncouth, but I suppose I should expect not less from one of Rosenthal's underlings. You learned it from the vicious brute himself. 
Why aren't we even doing the like AOE crowd control button and not just the fucking like shoot him in the head button? Heed my words, the Sky Skill Manufactory plays haven to villains for the safety of Ishgard citizens. The Didn't they just say that one a second ago? Anyway, the Rogan and Man instructor proposes a former poses as a former commodore of the Knights of the Barracuda. This is a lie. In truth, he's a bloodthirsty pirate who murdered his entire crew. They'll all believe me. We're not, there's nothing wrong with the people in our, in our gang. As you can tell from me, like, shooting at random people. Which is normal. Don't think you, no, it's cause it's gonna be an arrow. Not a plus sign, plus signs are new quests. This game's got so many blue quests. Whoa, that was loud. <clears throat> my organs! I can't see anything without my organs. This place is very confusing every time. Where's the... Oh, there, is that them? Yay! You ain't going nowhere. God damn it. Pew! You ain't seen the last of me. What the fuck? <laughs> me thanks. The name's Celesto, probably. One of your fellow machinists, if you didn't know. I was making preparations for our fight with Savara when that thug ambushed me. Don't bother chasing him, I doubt he knows more than what he was paid to do. But he did make it damn clear that someone out there has a grudge against our workshop. Anyway, I have to get back to me duties. We ain't never fought in a proper battle, let alone against a monster like Savara, and we'll need all the advantages we can get. Bye. I can warp back to Sky Steel from here. Thank you. Is everything all right? Rosenthal tells me that there are villains afoot, making trouble for the workshop. Intimidating my machinists, were they? Setting fires and spreading rumors? Joy, too, has overshared vile slander intended to defame our master of marksmanship. They took every care to choose the right employee, my lordship. We could, we could do a lot worse than the former Commodore of Limsel and Mrs. Barracudas. And now half of Ishgard thinks he's lying. That he's a conflict of a ter there's a convict of terrible crimes. Does someone seek to harm the manufacturer's standing with these attacks upon our instructor's character? I am sorry, Rosenthal. Your association with the machinist has brought you not but ridicule and insult. Bah, don't blame yourself, boss. After all, more than half the stuff's probably true. <laughs> I, I was Commodore of the Kudas, right up until I got kicked out on me ass for making a bloody mess of things. That's why you found me in Camp Overlook. I was there to visit one of me old underlings. Of course, he'd rather take an axe to the, to the face before he'd talk to me. Me mistakes cost s some more than others, and there's no bastard in Lenosha that has called me friend. Your mysterious rival must have learned of me tarnished past because they offered a fortune for me to accept the job as your master of marksmanship. I suppose they thought the workshop would be ruined once the truth behind my charm and reputation became common knowledge. But as it turns out, I don't take kindly to be in some faceless bastard's puppet, so I took their coin, and yours, and made for the ills, and I had no intention of fulfilling my contract, not till your venture here went and got me fired up about teaching in truth. 
That said, there ain't nuts in me agreement that says I, I gotta be fighting bleeding dragons. And me students will give a better show, uh, showing without me there growling over their shoulders any road. He was just a fraud. He was just taking everyone's money and leaving. Though his support will be missed, Rosenthal is may have correct in his assumption. Our demonstration will be all the more impressive for his absence. Let us check our weapons one last time and assemble at Skyfire Locks. Only one of us is at risk of dying, after all. Do do do, Skyfire Locks. Whoops. Where? Oh wait, we're, we're going off. We're going out of town. Back to Camp Dragonhead. And then down we go. I am ready to keep warm for the winter. No, level locking. So my buttons are disappearing. Barely, probably. Allow me to brief you on our defensive strategy ere the dragon and its minions arrive. Atop each of the three locks, we have placed a dragon-slaying cannon. Our task as machinists shall be to defend the cannons from Savar Savara's lesser kin. You will find a lock in the northeast. A lock to the northwest. And a lock to the south. I will track the concentrations of our enemy and direct you to the cannon most in need of protection. Wow, sure it'd be helpful if we just had like two more people that knew how to use these. Like you two? You could, if you two could fire the cannons, you know, the person who made them and the other lady that we've specifically established to be marksmen. Huck, the dragons are come. Everyone, everyone to your positions. There's one way to get hard battle hardened, which is, uh, battle. Oh, wow, the little health tracker down there is a little unfortunate in that it overlaps other things. Oh, this thing's just auto-firing? Okay, never mind, my bad. Got him. Can I use my mount? No. And sprint. Joy, Zeb, swiftly fly- wait, is she actually here and helping? Okay, no, there actually- there's actually nothing here. Ooh, okay, yep, there's a bunch of them here. Crit! Alright. Oh, why did I overload? Alright. Oh, wait, no, this is the one I can use for during this, right? Am I doing it right? I don't- I, I actually forgot what that button does already. <laughs> I 
Uh, that, their meter's going down really fast. Seems to hardly matter how you actually play this. Okay, let's actually summon a turret for once. The point of this mission. Since it looks like I'm gonna be about to win the whole level before I even had my battery meter unlocked. Is it shooting? Okay. Did it help? <laughs> it look it looks it looks so underwhelming. I didn't even see if it like did anything interesting. Big like, Birth is almost dead. Why is he so close to dying? We try we did so much to take care of the problem. Ah! Survive! Big hit! There you go. That was with my damage amplifier and my other thing on. I don't remember what Heat Blast does. I forgot already. Am I supposed to spam it? Because I was able to spam it before. It almost makes me wonder if it's not worth it though. Is it attacking my pet? <laughs> Okay, there's the Rook Overload, so that big laser is the one it does at the end. Where's my limit break? I want a limit break. Drone's kind of lame. Hopefully you get, like, a cooler one. <laughs> like, just visually. Well, Father, do you see now how we might prevail against dragons without risking the lives of our soldiers? Yeah, it's called having a treaty and not fighting the dragons anymore. Oh, we're not ready for that conversation yet. <laughs> Twas a most impressive display. I must admit your commoners acquainted... Uh, acquitted themselves admirably. Which commoners? I'm the warrior of light. You've heard of me. I thought I heard the terrible din of cannons being fired. And what do I... Do I hasten out here to find but the high-born Helenarts frolicking in the slow with their low-born lackeys? Class. <laughs> I sound like this all the time. Even my guard does. Look at his stupid face. After providing you with the opportunity to improve the ailing reputation of your noble house does the considerable does the consideration of house Zemel not merit a formal reply bitch we killed a dragon lord Tidal Grinch <laughs> his name is Grinch my apologies the foe was upon us ere we could put quill to parchment Ah, yes, I imagine you were full occupied with scraping together a serviceable company of soldiers. If only your dear son was as ardent with his knightly training as he was in his idle tinkering. Ah, yeah, one person with a spear would have been way better than several cannons. There is not idle in my work. You would do well to, to, to speak such... You would not speak such insults had you seen my machinist in action. Oh, such a temper. T'would seem your association with commoners has eroded your manners as well as your martial skills. Oh yes, manners is what you're doing. If you are so confident in these machinists of yours, mayhaps you should enter them in the upcoming tourney. It seems like a de-escalation from fighting a dragon. Mayhap I shall. Upon my oath, we will turn Ishgar's tradition-bound combat upon its ear. Gah! Everyone's shocked. Mayhap the Warrior of Light shall enter this tourney. I feel like I've entered other Ishgardian tournaments before already. <laughs> the Holy See's adjudicators will be most impressed when your low-born rabble is chopped to pieces by the tested blades of noble champions.
My son? Uh, my son, what have you done? The tourney is a stage upon which is... Upon which is fronted the might and metal of uh, uh, the four great houses. Only the finest knights are chosen to participate. Even with the aid of your machinists, our battered ranks stand little chance of victory. Must we now parade our shame before the highest echelons of the Holy See? Do not be so swift to dismiss our chances, Father. I give you my word, House Helenot will leave the contest with its pride intact. And furthermore, should we win, I will have your word that you shall yield up, uh, the running of the machine uh, of the manufactory to me. Very well, my stubborn boy. And whether you win or no, you you be sure to give House Zeman a good, a darn good pummeling. Everyone hates those people. Yay! I shall see it down to Father. We will not disappoint you. They'll never defeat my tiny little floating drone turret. It goes... <laughs> and doesn't move at all. Exciting. I'm really hoping it gets replaced by a different model later or something. It just looks like such a nothing. Ah. Zev. By virtue of your undeniable expertise, my father has at last recognized the value of machinistry. We cannot stop at but one ha hard-headed knight. This tourney will be our opportunity to demonstrate to all and sundry the potential of our profession. My lordship, if I may, it seems Lord Tettlegrinch has a dislike for commoners such as me. If my presence will cause you more trouble, then mayhap I should quit the manufactory. Pay no mind to the preeping fop, lass. He, he is all piss and wind. Aye, ever has Tittle Grinch sought to needle me in such a manner. Tis not you, my dear, that he despises. Tis the mingling of highborn and lowborn. He's a Slytherin. House Zimmel is a powerful family, and their talent for the building of fortifications has brought them vast wealth and influence. Staunch allies of House Durandare, the Zemals have also been party to a number of significant victories. Thus do they stand at the peak of Ishgardian society, looking down their noses at any who do not share their noble pedigree. If you wish, truly wish to please me, then I would have you shine your brightest in the tourney and wipe that arrogant smirk from his face. Shall we be on our way? I must confess my misgivings to you, Zev. When queried as to our chances at the victory, my prospected me to return to an unfavorable result. We triumphed over dragons, tis true, but such a battle has not prepared us to face coordinated parties of seasoned knights. My machinists are simply not ready. Tis fortunate, then, that the journey, the tourney is yet some days away. Let us keep such disheartening talk from our colleagues and continue to train them and ourselves for the contest ahead. Wow, how many- wow, it's been days already? Greetings, Zev. Our training proceeds apace, I trust. Stay a while, and we discuss our strategy for the tourney. To it appear everyone is present, even our dear instructor. So let us delve into the particulars of our upcoming contest. Now the degree of favor the Holy See bestows is much influenced by the outcome of the tourney, and thus do the nobles enter only their most able champions. I assume that... Tittle Grinch, in his small-minded maliciousness, seeks to humiliate us before the adjudicators and thereby convince the Holy See to cease the flow of funds to the manufactory. I don't understand, my lordship. Most his guardians ain't hardly aware that machinists exist. Why have we, so, why have we so grabbed Lord Tittle Grinch's attention? That's because he likely noticed that your firearm can kill a man with not but your dainty little finger on the trigger. Just the same reason there's laws in Limsa Laminsa what prevent any old drunken horseman from carrying a musket. An, Ishgard, an Ishgard's hierarchy ain't exactly fair and measured now, is it? If you arm the lowest folk with a ladder with weapons like ours, 
You can be sure as the tide. You can be sure as the tide that their barrels will soon be pointed towards them, uh, over them overprivileged bastards to what stand on top. We're gonna have a revolution! Yay! This won't work though, because the status quo never changes, especially not in one of these side quests. But this is a, this is a much instead of being like we go, we travel the lands to make all of the commoners shut up about being sad, which was the dancers' plot line. Oh no, demons are making them unhappy, not, you know, the actual systemic injustice we're not here to address. We're like, hey, what if you gave guns to regular people? Suddenly you might, uh... You might have a bit of uh, upheaval all of a sudden, wouldn't that be interesting? But as you say, most of the nobles don't seem to understand the threats of what an army of machinists could pose. This Tittle Grinch bloke is a step ahead, I'll give him that much. Aye, he's a despicable fellow, but also uncommonly clever. Even so, he has failed to arrive at the most obvious conclusion. A well-trained and well-armed populace would, would strengthen Ishgard's defenses tenfold. And if we are to convince the Holy See of that fact, then we must claim victory at the tourney. You got something special in mind, then? I have been considering several strategies, but to practice them here in plain view of our adversaries would, would void their effectiveness. We must needs look further afield for a suitable location to train. Bloodshore in Eastern Lenosia ought to do the trick. I'll secure us a place where we can shoot to our heart's content. Joy, pray make preparations for our journey, after you have attended to your duties at the manor, of course. As for you, Seb, I would have you test another of my innovations. Remain behind, and I shall make some adjustments to your Ethereum... Ethero Transformer. Blah, 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 blah. Forgive my duplicity, Zeb. The talk of adjustments was merely an excuse so that we might speak alone. Now, you heard me boast to my father that machinist companies could soon form the backbone of our defense. That was something of an exaggeration. We need white mages at the very least. <laughs> When it comes to gigantic dragons, I, one may as well be firing at the side of a, of a barbican. In the tourney, however, the lesser size of our opponents will work against us. It requires intensive training to consistently track and score hits against targets that are both small and agile. And as there is but little time left before the contest, our victory will depend largely upon your skilled contribution. If Joy is able to display even a fraction of your battle savvy, then the reputation of the machinists will flourish. Thus, I need you to attend our practice with undivided focus and provide a shining example to which she might aspire. Once Joy has completed her tasks at the manor, we can be off to Bloodshore. I wonder what could be keeping her? A trip to the market to restock the larder or some such? Find join the pillars. We're gonna go to a tournament with firearms. So is it a tournament to the death? <laughs> it seems like there's a lot of reasons why this wouldn't be the best idea. Oh, th this area is called the pillars. Gotcha. The Jules Crozier, a familiar locale. There's two sprint buttons on there, isn't there? <laughs> Womp. Oh, hello, hero. You must be eager to get in some practice before the big contest. I'll be ready to go just as soon as I've hauled me shopping to the manor. If I'm to continue my machinist training, I can't be shirking my other chores. I made a promise to the Count. But I won't keep you waiting much longer. I'll run to the manor with what I've got and come back for this big sack afterwards. That was very kind of you, Zev, but I'm stronger than I look. Maybe you could just keep an eye on the other a sack until I get back. Shouldn't be too long. I could just carry it with you. Why would you, why are we that sounds that feels like makes me feel like you're keeping a secret from me. He wants me to just hold on, like, just to wait for him. I can carry the bag. Look how big I am.
Hey, it's the same it's the same golden suit guy just roaming around. Zoom. I really was hoping for more experience from these quests. I haven't gained a single level. Zev, what are you doing here? Who's watching me at the sack? Ah, lending a hand to young Joy here. Very good. This was the last of her tasks for the day, so she is free to assist Stephanie Abian in his work. Pray return to your journey preparations. Journey preparations, not journey. Journey is a weird word. Thank you, Zev. I appreciate you helping me, of course, but I appreciate you helping his lordship even more. The courtship, the count was ag was against me becoming a machinist. He knew th that me dad's too feeble to work, though, and was kind enough to let me ke let me keep my me place on the manor staff. My family would be on the street if it weren't for this job, and I can't thank him enough. Sometimes I don't feel right that I repay him by spending half my time at the manufactory. But maybe now that you're around for Stephen Evian, my, Stephen Evian, my his lordship won't need me to be a machinist no more. Winning of the tournament will repay the Lord's kindness. Hmm. I never thought of it that way. Well, we should be getting ourselves to Bloodshore. I'm also going to run out of rested experience. Which I feel like I've had the entire playthrough. Because I just don't play that much Final Fantasy XIV. And whenever I do play larger amounts, like doing the dailies, I'm in, like, in a state where I can't even really reasonably get experience. So I just perpetually get rested percent. This is a different song I'm not used to hearing. Oh, this is my first time using this mount. We got it we got it at the end of the Christmas episode, but then we were in town and didn't leave to be able to use it. Ring ting ting ding ling bing bing ding ding ding. I like that it's not ex oh, not not extremely Christmassy without this part, because it means that you can run around with it a bit. I remember that I remember Andrew being surprised that we'd played this game so long. We were here last Christmas, and I'm like, yeah, we have we have a polar bear mount, dude. That's how long this has been. Granted, this is out of order, so I might have used it in an episode since then, because I'd probably air these. I'll probably be airing the campaign episodes as they come out, as they're recorded, but not airing any of this till I finish the whole storyline. And I'm ready to unveil the car the class switch. Just to avoid the confusion. I've had this guy I've had this guy for a whole year. That's nuts. Right. Let's begin, shall we? Our objective shall be to explore the most effective methods of countering our knightly opponents. If a knight cannot reach you, he cannot hurt you. Thus, uh, <laughs> I have bad news about uh, knights having ranged weapons. Thus, we shall concentrate on those machinist skills that hinder movement. I have prepared a crane, a crate of aromatic meats, said to be irresistible to giant crabs. For the purpose of this exercise, imagine the shell-covered creatures lured by its scent to be enemy knights, and form tactics that prevent their advance. Should the box be broken open, that will signal uh, your defeat. Let's see what strategies you can devise for us, Azef. Shoot them with gun! That's the strategy. Shoot them with a gun. Shoot them with a gun. Shoot them with a gun. Am I blowing all of your mind yet? Grabs. Protect the box. <laughs> I feel like we should approach to start the fighting as fast as possible. That's the weak attack. Why did I press that one? AOE crit. There you go. Nope. Select enemy. Nope. Select enemy. I wish I could map. I don't think I can do that, but I think I wish I could make double tapping A only select an enemy, not an ally that happens to be in front of me. It's so good for quickly selecting an enemy to attack until it randomly just doesn't work that way.
Has she made much progress? Uh, she killed one of them, I think. No. Okay, oof. Closer than I wanted that to be. I guess these ones start maybe a little closer. That, that button, that button, that button, that button, there we go. Oh my god, wait, no, how many of them are there? How am I supposed to keep all these away? Okay, it has hit points. Like a lot of hit points, actually. Are we, did we win? Okay, Jesus Christ, that last wave had a lot of enemies. I'm not sure how I would have kept them away. Did something just aggro on you? Oh. It's a boss fight thingy. The thing from the deeps. Is it gonna fight me instead, at least? The last, that last fellow was rather unexpected, but you handled him nonetheless. Well done. Your performance has prompted my prospectometer and inspired me with entirely new strategies. If I may, my lordship, seeing uh, uh, seeing how well Zev is coming along, maybe you don't need me, need me in the tourney no more. Whatever could make you think that, my dear? I need you now more than ever. The sights of you, a commoner with scant battle experience, sending, sending seasoned knights stumbling and sprawling will open the eyes of the Holy See. Why, you shall be the bullet that pierces their tradition-bound hearts. Very well, my lordship. I'll do me best in the name of Hel House Helenart, for both you and the court. That's the spirit. Now I must return to the workshop. And we're going to want to teleport back before I aggro everything under the sun. Dude. Bing. Fine showing out there, Zev. Joy's lack of enthusiasm troubles me somewhat, but I'm sure the moment her hand closes around her stock, she'll be as ferocious as ever. The day of the tourney is finally upon us. This is it, Zev. This is Machinistry's moment of truth. Pray gather our colleagues together. Joy should be just outside performing some last moment firearm inspections, and Rosenthal, well... Joy may have a better idea of his whereabouts than I. Oh, Zev, this is a disaster. Someone has broken into our storage crates and smashed all the firearms. I I must tell his lordship. No, we must check the other crates first. Oh, oh uh, what do we do? Hi, you're right, of course. Giving in to panic won't help us none. I'll see what's, be what's become of the rest of the weapons, then report me findings to his lordship. Rosenthal? Last I saw, he was getting some fresh air out behind the workshop. He did it. He broke all the weapons because he got paid again. He loves money. Pirates love money. Don't look now, lad, but I think we've got visitors again, stubborn bastards. Uh, smashed up your, our firearms, you say? Seems whatever sc scrag it is, he, 
it it is as once us is it is as once us gone is done with being subtle Jack. I can't even get it I don't get it the dialect's too hard to parse I get I get what they're saying ultimately I'm just like what the fuck is half those words and that like I don't I can't I can't parse the way that they're being used we'd best run off the rest of these thugs before we decide to set fire to the place you know what to do Warning Goss rounds, only so, so we don't bring the wrath of the Temple Knights down upon us. Meet me back at the workshop when you're done on your, your patrol. They smashed up our weapons. Those dickheads. Tis not personal, Helen Hart, but coin is coin. Eh. And bullets are bullets. Please, no, it wasn't my idea. I just was profiting from it and had no problems with doing it. I was happy to do it, actually. So I, I guess you could blame me, actually. <laughs> Ooh, funny how that works. Just wait until no one's looking. I'm looking. Ah, that purse ain't worth getting shot at. <laughs> the timing has to be perfect. It's not. Ah, where'd you come from? Yeah, I'm known for sneaking up on people. With all of my very sneaky classes I've played so far. Uh, the narrative of this is a little weird in, uh, overall because it's like, ah, with the, the guns are going to cause an upheaval and so on. And, and oh, what a way of, of being able to defeat knights. And it's like, y'all already have guns. Machinists didn't invent guns. They're just weird new special guns with special abilities or something. But like, there's already guns. <laughs> like... Even in the story of this thing, that guy's not really a machinist, and he already is very familiar with guns. You think there'd be guns in the military already? Zev, are you quite alright? Our fine instructor here tells me you've both been busy chasing off hired miscreants again. I'm afraid the damage has already been done, my lordship. Even after scraping together our spares, we've less than half the weapons we need for the tourney. Then half we'll just have to do. It would be difficult, I know, but I believe we still have a chance. What in the bloody hells is that? Sounds like someone fired a damn cannon or somewhat. What happened? More stuff's broken. Oh, my lordship, our turrets. Blast. We must have missed one of those shite-eating bastards. That's it, then. We'll have to forfeit the contest. Nay, my dear. Tis there is yet time to remedy this. These efforts to confound our chances serve but to stoke the fires of my determination. Pray accompany back in me pray accompany me back inside, Zev. Rosenthal, Joy, lend your fellow machinists to the tourney field and don your masks of supreme confidence. Whilst our mysterious enemy is distracted by your show of bravado, I shall work to replace the damaged firearms. But how can you craft so many weapons before the contest begins? The short of it is I cannot. Not to my usual exacting specifications, of course. Only the four of us must be aware of the poor quality of our replacements. You and Joy must needs fight that much harder to compensate for your colleague's lack of firepower. I'll do my best to keep the others in high spirits too, Lord Stephanavian. My, my apologies, I wasn't trying to eavesdrop or nothing, but when I heard the noise... Ah, Celesto. Well, it's not for it now. Welcome to the conspiracy. Formidable foes. Meager chance of success. 
This shall be a worthy victory of song. A victory worthy of song. Sentence really works better when you say the words in the right order. Who is that guy? He's not in any of the cutscenes usually. <laughs> Probably a while ago, but like he's not regularly in the cutscenes. What? Would that the odds were not so heavily stacked against us, but we cannot let a few setbacks stand in the way of our moment of glory. We have done all that we can, uh, that can be done. Tis time we join our companions and survey the field on which the tourney is to take place. You are familiar with Camp Dragonhead, I trust? Yeah, we were just there. Its grounds should make for an interesting arena. These dickheads are what are betraying us and whatnot. How rude. Good. Good, you've come. The other houses have yet to field their forces, meaning we've time to inspect the arena and formulate a winning strategy. Are you certain of your preparations, my son? These tales I hear of hired thugs terrorizing machinists and destroying equipment do not fill me with confidence. Pray remember that the, co the collected gaze of Ishgard shall be focused on this, con on this contest. A poor showing will force us to fund... For, uh, will cost us our funding from the Holy See and cast an uncertain shadow over the future of the manufactory. I have never been more ready, Father. Now relinquish your doubts, find yourself a nice vantage point, and enjoy the spectacle. I'm off to find a perch myself, but here's one piece of advice before I go. Make the most of the terrain. There's a few choice spots where I'd lay an ambush, or expect me enemies to lay one for me. Just be sure you're giving the place a good once-over, eh? You are the instructor. Give the word and we shall endeavor to learn the lay of the land. Let's really check what that button is. I keep forgetting to check. Uh... So hypercharge only makes single target attacks stronger. Yeah, so this is the one that makes me cast be able to cast Goss Round again faster. <clears throat> and it has a potency of 200, which is Weaker than the second and third hits of this combo. Does it have a cost though, or does it just something I just cast every 1.5 seconds and this lasts 8 seconds? Like, do you spam it during that time, or is it a bad idea to? It feels like these are stronger attacks ultimately. Even Goss Round's not that strong. It's just a bonus attack I get to use in between cooldowns. But like the strength of Goss Round is that it's not it doesn't share the global cooldown timer, but the heat blast does. I don't know. It does cut this thing's uh, cooldown in half, and this is basically a free ability whenever it is available. So I guess every time you every two times you use it, the Goss Cannon Blast is is back. So you can use it to quickly restock them a bit. Let's review our strategy, shall we? Unless you would rather simply begin the tourney, in which case you may speak with our machinist messenger. Can I just skip ahead and do the thing? Black standard represents our encampment. Uh, if we allow the standard to be destroyed, we are defeated and the turning is lost. It also heals you. I 
Oh god. So we need to get the enemy standard and we need to protect our standard and it heals you if you're standing near it. It's rather rapid fire and my text chat's pretty small and unpleasant to read, but I almost never have a use for that box anyway. But in moments like this... You can read it on the middle of the screen, but then you have to keep readjusting your eyes every time it gets ahead of you. Cross the top link of the the standard, then the victory should be ours. Enemy standard will heal nearby allies. Be best to avoid lengthy engagements in its proximity. Individual roles. Is this strategy or just explaining the con how the fight works? Joy will lead a squad of Hellenite combatants in an offensive push. The remaining machinists and I will join the fort with join the Fort Tom in the defense of our encampment. You, Zev, shall be our flying company and strike where needed. Tell us, though, you shall be our ambusher. Let us survey your palace of place of concealment. Sesto will emerge and assault the enemy standard on Zev's signal. The Dunder captain is an aggressive sort. If our defenses appear weak, he will commit his forces to an attack. And that will leave their encampment vulnerable to ambush. We will place a signal mortar near the Aetherite. Come with me and you shall see it for yourself. So when the enemy pushes, I hit this signal for him to ambush the standard? Are we going to fight up top? Is there even a reason to come up here? The mortar shall be, should be safe here from enemy detection and the spot also affords you a fine view of both camps. When you judge it time to press the attack, simply operate the mortar to send up a flare. Let us show. Uh, return now to our encampment. I'll stall the efficient until you give word. Ow. Just says townsperson. That's weird. Uh, he has a name. Hark, tis Tittle Grinch and his knights. Ah, the manufactory works all of their... The manufactory workers in all their glory. I imagine there are many who are curious, even eager to witness you fight this day. Unfortunately for your spectators, however, House Zemal will end this mockery of a contest all too swiftly. Bluster all you will. We shall let the tattered remains of your standard speak for us. <laughs> Such conviction from the king of the commoners. Come then, all the players are present, let the tournament begin. I wish my shirt wasn't glitched out all the time. Like it just, it sticks out like a fucking you, like hat brim. Why is it like that? <laughs> Please fix these things, game. Oh god, it started. Okay. Uh... Why does this guy have so much fucking health? Wow, I really need to kill their healer. Okay, shit. Which I think he was basically making him invincible. Okay. Is that all you got? This one guy is just getting free hits on our base.
Okay, now he's attacking me at least. Wait, he's attacking everything again. Stop it. It looks like the enemy standard is taking more damage somehow. Well, that's the strength, is I can spam this and spam the Goss rounds in between. Because the Goss rounds are, of course, off cooldown. I start doing some really rapid-fire attacks. Dude, I can't, I can't, I don't think I can tell my AI to, like, fight these guys. There's just multiple people attacking our base, our basic thing. Is my gun that weak because I haven't been getting a new one, potentially? Looks like the Crimson Standard is taking more damage. Is this guy way stronger? Can I do more damage to the other guys? No. Alright, number of enemies stacked is growing. I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. Okay, now we're seriously in trouble. Pretty sure I just need to go attack theirs. Like, defending doesn't seem to work. Like, I can't. <laughs> Their enemies have, like, infinite health. I'm not making any progress. You prick. Okay, we're really losing a lot of health here, and I can't activate the fucking thing because the sky's on me. This is not good. Why do we have a lead? Why do we have a lead at first? And why are we collectively? Why are we just just progressively getting doing worse? Am I missing? Am I just under-equipped for this mission? I feel like my gun might just suck. Dude, this... I, dude, normally it takes... normally... Okay, the boss fights I've been fighting to get here have taken less damage to kill, it feels like.
you. Okay. Huh. There's nobody here! Wait, he doesn't have anybody on defense. What the fuck? This is goofy. This mission, like, made no sense. No one's behavior made sense. I had to, it was weird what I had to do to accomplish anything. Oh, at least they're fucked now. It sure feels like we're gonna really easily catch up now. Yeah, their entire team was just attacking our flag with nobody on defense at all. I, pr I would have been better off just running over here and dealing with myself, probably, not even bothering with the stupid thing. Da ba da ba da da shiba da boo. Congratulations, machinists. You have proven yourselves not entirely without merit. House Emma will gladly welcome your inclusion in House Helenot's next company of reinforcements. I, your novel toys, confounded my knights and won you this game of flags. I would see, however, how you fare against adversaries who seek not to break your standard but to spill your life's blood. May the day soon come when you fight side by side. Snide remark. <laughs> Mayhap then you shall understand why the knight is the master of the battlefield. Yep. Could have just let it go. <laughs> well done, my son. You have triumphed against all that that would see you fail. But of course, father, there is no difficulty that machinistry cannot overcome. I'm a tech bro. <laughs> Are you ready for Final Fantasy's version of Crypto? I'm very good at one thing, which means that I think I'm good at all things. Attorney victory. How many years has it been? At last, do we begin to reclaim the influence we have lost? And there shall be more to come. As long as you are true to your word, that means no more bono- that, me that means more- blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. As long as you are true to your word. That means no more bemoaning my knightly skills. No more disruptive visits to the workshop. Steven Ivian, I hereby relinquish to you full authority of the manufactory. May your machinists be the spears that pierce our foes, and the shields that defend our walls. Wow, imagine, imagine a parent growing to learn to accept that they were wrong. As uh, Do as you will, my son, for the glory of Ishgard and her people. The age of the machinist has begun, my friends. Follow me, and together we shall ring the rusted helmets of the old guard. Sad. Oh, back at, at Sky Steel Manufactory. 
I had to really think about the pronunciation of that. I always want to say, like, Styskeel. <laughs> Which are not words, but it is easier to say than Sky Steel. That's a Rothgar. It was a hard won battle, Zev, but your keen grasp of tactics carried the day. And that is to say, not of your ever growing skill with a firearm. With this victory, I am become manufactory chief in both name and deed, and I intend to make the most of my newfound freedom. Indeed, my first act upon returning to the workshop was to improve upon the Aethero, the Aethero Transformer. This latest model is yours, with my thanks. The attorney exposed certain inadequ inadequacies in the design for which I have endeavored to compensate. Use it well, Zev. What does it do? What does it do? Ricoch oh, there's Ricochet. Deals damage to all nearby enemies with a potency of 120 for the first enemy and 50% less for all remaining enemies. It's another spammable charge. Yep. It's another 30 second thing with two charges that you... Yep, so... That makes that one ability really powerful because you get to start spamming them, huh? And then a gun? I could probably use a gun. My current gun's probably trash. My Ethereal Transformer's been modified. I'm holding a little gem. In my giant hand. It just kind of floats in the middle. How do I have another quest? Holy crap. I keep thinking we're going to be getting caught up. This is actually a really long quest chain. Bing. Uh, oh. That is a whole ass set. So let's look at my character. Uh, character. So my current gun is level 32. It's not a good sign. And my average item level is... 43. 62! Oh, they actually, they, he didn't actually give me a new gun. It was just gear. Don't think I like how any of that gear looks. Bulking looks, I think bulkiness looks kind of weird on Rothgar because they're already bulky enough. We can do a swap because I was mostly wearing the same gear so far. Am I high enough leveled for the set yet? Nope. Still can't wear the jacket. Part of why I haven't been. Doop doo. Oops. Nope. With our tourney victory, we have indelibly etched the machinist presence in the minds of the Holy See. And, now that my father has relinquished the running of the manufactory to me, it would seem our fortunes have at last taken a turn for the better. Father has also formally responded to Lord Tedelgrinch, promising our support in House Zemel's next sortie. I am not yet privy to the details of the operation, but I imagine the role Tedelgrinch will choose for us shall be both demanding and dangerous. In his attempt to humiliate the machinist, however, he will only prove us with another... He will only provide us with another stage in which to prove our worth. A victory in the field will, will garner us greater support from the Holy See and allow me to apportion funds towards the development of ever more potent weapons. Thus, it is vitally important that we see this operation succeed, but an equally important matter that must be addressed ere we delve too deeply into such concerns. The celebration of our tourney triumph. We must have Joy and Rosenthal join us for the festivities. Ah, but I believe Joy's services are yet required at the manor. Pray seek out our Master of Marksmanship first, if you would. I've got a new attack to map to the bar somewhere. Which actually shouldn't be that hard because I still have stuff that I don't, equip, I don't use very much. I don't really use head graze and leg graze. All those all like stuns and slows. It doesn't come up much. If I paid extra close attention, you might be able to interrupt certain people's attacks in certain contexts that might be useful, but most of the time I just don't have that much need to.
wonder if I should switch these. So I can put a ricochet here. So I can do rock ricochet and goss round in conjunction with heat blast. And have this whole thing set up. I just need to remember to come over here and press these buttons periodically, despite them being on a different bar than my normal rotation. With this being a thing I barely ever use because it's such a long cooldown by comparison. In fact, this one's used more often, so I should put that one there. That makes a bit more sense. It's even like split shot, slug shot, clean shot, hot so shot. It's like, it's like a, it's a theme. This, is, this AOE and this thing, they're just kind of leftovers, and these are my drone buttons so far. I'm trying to theme them so I can keep track of what the fuck I'm looking at. A lot of buttons. I'll make it so that one of my double tap triggers is all of my grazes, I guess, but I mostly don't use them anyway. I'm pretty much always in meaninglessly trivial, trivial content throughout the story, and then dungeons where I don't think there's... I've, I've never really had to deal with crowd controlling. A party, is it? Ugh, I ain't going. All I did during the tourney was watch. How can you say that, Master Rosenthal? Without your instruction, we'd have never have stood a chance. And now look at us, upstart commoners, defeating the likes of seasoned knights. I taught you how to shoot, I, but the, t the tourney victory was somewhat, somewhat you man managed all on your own. I can see arguing with you ain't gonna, ain't getting me nowhere. I'll just drag you back to the workshop instead. But still, we can't begin the festivities without joy. This this time of the day, she'll be at her chores in the manor house. Mayhap, uh, maybe if you talk to the count, will he'll let you, he'll let her leave early to attend the celebration. She ain't one to abandon her duties half done, though. It'd be best to approach the Count directly and not give her a chance to object. Aye, the lass is awful serious about her work. Wouldn't want her keeling over from guilt now, would we? The Count should be home if you don't mind talking to him. I'll be sure the instructor here make, uh, makes it to the celebration. I don't think I ever... F is it, is it, this seems to be like a level 50 capstone quest. Where is this? It, it is in this map still. I'm trying to remember, like, did I ever... Did I reach level 50 as a monk? Yeah, 51. I'm trying to remember if I ever actually finished... Any kind of capstone quest as a monk. When we're going around raiding for a bit, I probably would have finished the... Through line for them, I guess. It's just been so long, I don't remember the story that much. There's to be a celebration, is there? Ah, and naturally you have come to fetch joy. Pray return to the manufacturer and I shall be along forthwith to explain why she shan't be attending. Oh no. Now it's time to be sad or something. Probably. Someone give me a new gun, please. It's 20 levels out of date. Do I get like a family gun? Well, there wouldn't be like a... an heirloom super gun or anything because they're, they're, we're rejecting tra tradition. Everyone is present, yes? Once again, a pray allow me to congratulate you all on the tourney performance. Ere you celebrate your victory, however, I have news. What is it, father? Twas quite a sudden development, but joy was wed. Boah? Bloody hells, well, there's, an there's another good reason to bring out the grog. Wed? I have heard not of any engagement. She is gone, then? Aye. Joy's chambers at the manor have already been emptied, and now that she is married, I do not foresee her returning to the manufactory. She left behind her firearm. Wait, what's Joy getting married got to do with her leaving the workshop? Within the walls of Ishgard, tis usually the unwed what serve the manner of houses. Many retire from such work upon the day of their marriage as young Joy has done. Tis all too much. 
Now that we have at last earned a modicum of recognition, tis ill-timed indeed to lose so talented a machinist. We did like one quest for her. She's, we can get someone else. It would seem that familial circumstances demanded a swift union be made. But let us not bemoan what is lost. Let us instead raise a toast to the happiness Joy has found. You must needs accept that your colleague has moved on and adapt your strategies accordingly. House Zemel will call upon you soon, and I expect to hear great things from his allied up this allied operation. A yawning abyss has opened in our ranks. How could she leave us without so much as a final farewell? It was a scheme. They married her off to sabotage you. Ha 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 ha. Familiar circumstances. Has something ill befallen her dad, I wonder? Celesto, you are acquainted with Joy's father. Aye, we oft huddled, hunted together. He was the one w what suggested I try me hand here at the workshop. Told me his daughter had found herself a decent job and a fine employer. Then mayhap he can also tell you whether his daughter has gone. I would fain convince both the wife and her new husband to accept positions at the manufactory. I will speak with him, my lord. I don't much fancy take, take it to the field without joy and her uncanny aim at my side. Hey, can you come back so your newfound wife can risk his, risk her life with us? Even should Joy refuse my my overture, however, we simply cannot abandon her obligation to House Zemal. Rosenthal, you must drill your students without quarter. I'll push them as hard as you like, boss, as long as I'm fairly compensated. Give me all of your money, and grog. Celebration shall have to wait, Zev. Unless we can persuade Joy to return, the burdens of battle must be divided betwixt those of us who remain. But surely, she will come back to us. Surely. No. There we go. Now I got a level 52. Is there going to be one every two levels in this expansion? Wow. That is a whole, whole, whole lot of narrative, but I'm done for now.